I don't know about you guys, but every time fall comes back around, I get really excited. I'm kind of sad that summer is coming to an end, but really fall is my favorite season with spring. I feel it's a perfect time to start things over, get organized, spend time cooking in your house, cooking and have fun, especially with makeup, because with fall comes incredible colors and it really gets me inspired with my beauty stuff. So every new season, I like to go through my beauty stash and pick up my favorites for the new season. It gets me really excited. So I thought I would do this full edit um, with my favorite beauty products for fall. So I'm gonna get started. The obvious thing when it comes to changing up things for the new season is nail polish because you can really have fun with your nail polish. You can spot really bright blue during summer, you can have a sparkly red during winter, you can do anything that you want. So I have four nail polish to show you today. The first one is AC Size Matters, which is to me the perfect deep berry red that you can spot every single day during fall because it goes with everything. I mean, it's a classic. It's not that bright red right in your face. It's a bit darker, a bit burgundy. It also looks really good if you have short nails like I do. The second nail polish that I have is also from AC and this one is called Merino Cool. I've looked at that color for a month but never got around to buying it. And what got me decided is that I tried it on when I was in Chicago doing a Money and Pity and I got this color on my toes and I absolutely felt in love with it. It's like nothing else that I have on my nail polish shelves. Um, it's kind of a plummy, nude, dark color, if that makes sense. This is, to me, a really full color. It looks incredible on your hands and on your feet. And I just love it because it's really unique. If you're looking for more of a nude option, I really like this nail in color in Porchesto Square because this is not like truly nude. It's a bit, it has the same undertones as Marina Cool does. It's kind of, um, kind of plummy undertones, I would like to say, but this is really a nude color, so it's really light. I think this is a perfect color to wear every single day if you don't want something too flashy, but something that will take you from day to night, from office to parties. And the last one that I have is my favorite one for this season, and this is the new Marc Jacobs Petra Nail Polish. I picked this one up when I was in the States, and that's the one I'm wearing today on my nails. I absolutely love this color. This is a sparkly brownish color, and every time I wear it, I have compliments on it, and people ask me where it's from. I've never seen a color quite like this because it has reflection, it's just beautiful. And the quality of these nail polishes, it's really, really good. And I'm glad that I picked one up when I was in the States. Another thing that you can easily play with is your lip color. I personally love to switch up my lip colors. You know, during summer, I was all about that peachy nude color. For winter, I really like my red lipsticks. But this season, I have three favorites to share with you. The first one is the one I have on my lips today. This is the Clinique Chubby Sticks Intense in number six, Romeo's Rose. I really like this Chubby Sticks Intense because just like the original ones, they have a really moisturizing formula. It applies like nothing else because it's kind of this big crayon type of thing that you can twist up at the end so you don't need to sharpen them. And I really like this new Intense formula because the Chubby Sticks used to be really sheer, but the intense one, as you can see, is really pigmented. I absolutely love this color. I think it looks insane for fall. It's a perfect mix between a pink and a berry color. It's not too dark, it's not too light. It keeps your lips moisturized, which is something really important where we get into the colder months. And I just love these, and they are not too expensive as well, which is always a plus. And the next two lipsticks that I have are from Burberry. I just love Burberry lipsticks. I think they are really good quality. They are really expensive and you don't get a lot of product, but the color are just insane. I love the packaging. I think it's really luxurious. The two I have to show you today, actually the first one is one of their lip velvets. So it's kind of a matte lipstick. And this is in the color 311 Bright Puppy. And this is a color that I wore non-stop when I got it. I got it around Christmas last year. And you know, it was really on trend to have like a blood color on your lips. And this is the perfect lipstick to do that. But I'm really pale as you can see, and it didn't look too dark or too vampy on my lips. 
It used to be a winter favorite, but it's now in the fall edit because I think at the dead of winter you can be really white and really washed off and you can look a bit too much with that. But I think during fall, you know, you still have a bit of your summer tan and it looks incredible. And the other Burberry lipstick that I have is one of their lip mist, which is more of a sheer finish. And this is number 202 Copper. And this is just a perfect nude everyday color. This is the one that I reach for every time I want a nude lip because Again, it's not too light, it's not too dark, it's kind of your lips but better shade and it works with everything. So I still have a few more things to share with you. The first one is my favorite cream eyeshadow for fall and this is the Maybelline Color Tattoo 24 Hours in the shade 35 on and on bronze. And this is the thing that I reach for every single day when I wanted to do kind of a full smoky eye something, not too obvious but not too light, something that looks perfect with the weather basically and this is a bronzy color it applies like nothing else it's really easy to apply just apply it with my finger and blend it with another finger to create kind of a light smoky effect you can reapply it before you go out at night so you can create a deeper smoky eye and these are really really good quality and by far the best cream eyeshadow that you can get at the drugstores and if I don't want to apply something shimmery or if I want to look really, really natural, I just reach for my Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. I just love this palette because it has everything you need to create a really natural eye. All the colors are matte except for the first one which is called Venus. I personally love to mix Foxy with WOS and apply it all over my lid just because it looks super natural and if I'm doing something like today with a cat eyeliner black thing I just do a really neutral eyeshadow that that's the one I like and I also like to define my eyes with faint which is this color this brown color here because it defines it but it stays really subtle so I highly recommend this palette and every time I'm traveling I take this with me because I know that I can create a lot of looks using these and I personally really like matte eyeshadow and I think it's pretty hard to find a good matte eyeshadow palette and this is the answer to all my prayers. Another thing I want to mention is one of my beloved Maybelline Eye Studio gel liners. I've talked about these in countless videos and this one you've already seen is the eggplant color and I think that fall is such a great season to play with your eyeliner because we tend to stick to, I personally tend to stick with black, but really you have to experiment. Try a brown, try a neck blend, try a deep green color. You might be surprised and it's a perfect way. If you don't know what to do, but you still want to look dolled up a little bit, you can switch to a colored eyeliner and will change up your whole look. When it comes to blushers during fall, I really like deep berry colors for blush hair, but it really doesn't suit me at all. So I try to stick with something really natural that will blend within my skin, give me a nice flush, but won't interfere with my smoky eye or my berry lips. So this time I chose the uh, Laura Mercier Rose Bloom. This is just a tiny sample that I got. By the way, I think this is one of the cutest samples I ever had. I really like this color because it doesn't look like much when you look at it, but when you, when you apply, it applies really well because it's not too chalky, it's almost creamy, so it goes on really naturally. It blends into your skin, so it looks super natural, and everyone is like, oh my god, you have a healthy glow, what have you been doing? And it's all thanks to this blush show. That's my everyday blush during fall just because it doesn't interfere with anything else I'm wearing. And the last thing I want to talk about is the Molecule O1 perfume. I talked about it in videos before. I got mine at Liberties in London because it is impossible to get hold of in Belgium. So I was curious to try this. I talked about it as I said in previous video. But I just love it now. I have kind of a love-hate relationship with this perfume because it reacts to your pH, the pH of your skin, so it smells different on everyone and I feel like it smells different on me depending on the season. I took it with me in Spain and everyone was like, you know, you don't smell that really good and I was using this perfume so I was like, Okay, but now I am back in love with it and I have so many compliments on it, so I'm really happy. And it's kind of a deep, 
wooden scent, at least on my skin, so I really like and I really like to mix it up with my Stella Rollable perfume that I got in the US as well. And this is just a perfume that I apply every single day. And although this is a tiny bottle, I just use one or two sprays a day and it keeps me going for the whole day. If you want to know how I created this hairstyle, I have a tutorial video with this look. You can click on this little guy here and it will take you to the video and really it is super easy to create and I was using a new tool by Babyliss that I think it's just incredible. So go watch that if you're interested. So that is it for my full edit video. I hope you enjoyed it and please share with me in the comment section below what are your favorite beauty products for fall if you have any fun recipes, if you posted a cool video on your channel, just pop the link to it in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone. So as you can see, I'm nearly done on my left side, which is um, the side that I always have trouble curling because you never know what way you need to curl your hair and it's always a bit tricky and you don't know what hand to use and all of that. But with this, it's like really, really